The first thing to note is that every object has a construction stack and the stack is red from top to bottom. You can see these arrows are pointing down to the lowest level of the stack which is the modeling construction stack. Above it we have shape modeling, above that we have animation, and above that we have secondary shape modeling. Each marker in the stack gives us a way of organizing our deformers so that we can selectively freeze the effect of a deformer if it's meant to be temporary. Now normally operations that you execute in the modeling construction stack tend to be temporary in nature. You usually want to delete the history at some point and we can do that, we've seen that from the modeling demos by using the freeze M, freeze modeling. This is a really safe way of freezing your construction history for modeling type operations which usually always appear down in this construction stack. For more permanent operations for things like working with blend shapes or shape animation, working with envelopes or smooth binds, we tend to use the shape modeling and animation modeling markers or animation markers respectively. The nice thing about these markers here is that in order to delete the construction history from these markers you actually have to use the freeze button which will freeze all operators in all construction stacks or in all construction modes. So let's keep that in mind when we set our envelope. The second thing to keep in mind is that when you create a deformer for a series of points, in this case the entire mesh, XSI will always create a cluster that contains those points and in the case of an envelope operator connecting the bones to the mesh that cluster of points will also contain a weight map, an influence map showing the relative influence of each deformer on the geometry. So let's, uh, let's actually put this into practice. The only thing I really need to envelope right now is the Mulcore body geo. So I will use the envelope, set envelope button, and right away it'll warn me that I'm dealing with a construction mode problem and it's telling me that the envelope is being applied as a modeling operator so which means that if I choose no the operator will appear in the modeling stack which could get frozen and removed quite easily. The reason that's the case is because at the top of XSI our modeling construction mode uh, is set as so. So anything we do appears in the modeling construction mode. So below that it says envelopes are usually applied as an animation deformation and that's true. We want the animation deformation to be permanent for the most part. Do I want to apply this effect as an animation operator or in other words do I want to apply this effect in the animation construction mode? And I usually say yes. I always say yes. So it switches construction modes for us and puts us into a pick session and all we need to do is pick the deformers that we want to use. And I'm going to pick the deformers group with my left mouse button and if you look down at the mouse line uh, there's a green bar that says skeleton object and followed by the left, middle, and right mouse button options. And when I'm finished picking with my left mouse button, I right click. So it sets up an attribute that pops up here called the Add Automatic Envelope Assignment dialog. And in this, we need to choose how many deformers can affect each point. With your mesh selected like it should be, if you press W, you can see that the weight map of the character appears and it looks somewhat blended together. We have bones that have turned color and we have colors that represent the influence those bones have on the points and where the colors tend to blend together we have the influence of one or more deformers on that group of points. If I lower this number we can sort of make a really hard edge contrast between deformers and if I raise this number the map just blurs together more and more. If we have a look inside of the Explorer, we have an envelope operator underneath our animation stack. So this is managing our deformation effect. We do have the opportunity to mute the envelope operator if we don't want to see its effect. So you can see the icon in the Explorer appear there. And we can animate that. We can actually blend between mul multiple envelope operators. This is something uh, we'll be looking at as we advance into a more complicated character. Down in the clusters folders I mentioned, we have a cluster created with a little point on it, so these boxes are clusters, 
and the little point tells us we have a point cluster and it's been named envelope weights aptly because it contains our weight map this colored map here that is that influence of deformer on point you can see that the weights also have their own operators and these are the operators that are used to modify uh, the weight map or the influence map as we add or change this influence map we will likely pick up a few operators along the way again these operators can also be baked in because these are just temporary you want to paint your weights and then you want to bake the effect in. you don't want to have extra operations around so this would be like freezing the modeling of a deformation map and that's exactly what you do if you want to bake in all of the operators on your way to select your geo and again just freeze the modeling and it will not uh, destroy your envelope operator but it will get rid of your automatic envelope assignment operator and any other operators like a weight painter operator you may uh, come across on your envelope weights.